Disclaimer. The suggestions you will see on this video is solely based on my personal research and experience playing the game. Some discussions can be subjective, so play, depending on certain situations. Thank you. Good day mga kaungoy! Welcome back to our channel, Ungoy Tayo. Now in today's video, I will give you 5 additional tips on how to craft your second epic equipment as a continuation of our epic crafting guide. Some suggestions may be the same as the previous video, but provided with more detailed explanation. I do apologize since it took me a while to upload the content here on Mir4 because I am quite busy doing live streaming sessions for Cabal Mobile. If you are interested, check out our Facebook channel, Giba Gaming PH. So enough with the plug, and let's get on to the video. Special shout out to Yudeski, 11 2021, Unruly A, Black Mink, and Artillery. Number 1. Start with Copper and Dark Steel. I have discussed this before in the previous video, but let me add some additional advantages of prioritizing these two before anything else. Having copper and dark steel first as a priority will secure your daily required task at hand. Make sure you will never run out of potions and have enough copper to buy the daily common product and step up items in the shop. Even though this will not make an impact on your epic grind, the greed cordial and prosperity cordial will greatly assist you for monster drop materials as you do your daily AFK leveling. The dark steel is also essential for crafting rare blue devil stones which can give you a chance to craft tradable items to be sold in the market for gold. That can help you for some of the equipment materials you may need to buy in case you are having some difficulties farming it. Number 2. Trading all shards for glittering powder. My practice is to trade shards for dark steel and the rest of the shards will be traded to glittering powder. Glittering powder is the hardest material to grind and the reason why most players are getting stuck for their epic grind. If you have enough materials and resources to craft your epic, this will be the only thing you need to focus farming. Unfortunately, there is no shortcut to this, yet you can improve your daily glittering powder gain by opening all the chests you see, whatever type of chest it is, on any location and exchanging your rare blue dragon statue for glittering powder. Number 3. Strictly go boss hunting on Secret Peak. Always consider the fastest boss you can kill based on your level and power score. This will give you a higher chance to loot rare materials and glittering powder. Make sure all your crystal will be traded for small and medium bosses and the rest will be traded for glittering powder. Should there be no boss to hunt, mine dark steel while waiting. Watch these clips as I do glittering powder and rare material farming in Secret Peak. Number 4. Based on your level and power score, spend your AFK leveling on an area where there is a boss, for a drop chance of rare materials. If you can AFK level on Phantom Woods area onwards, 
make sure to stay on the location because it can give you a chance to loot epic material boxes which can grant you an instant epic equipment material. Number 5. Before crafting your epic equipment, make sure you have an excess preferably 500,000 copper and 500,000 dark steel to compensate enhancement failures and enchantments. The total amount of resources accumulated on Argenesis Crafting Planner was only for crafting your epic and enhancing it to plus 5, without any failures in consideration. So, you better have your resources higher than the one suggested by the planner not only to secure all the enhancements and enchantments, but to have enough so you can still buy other items for your daily tasks and grind. These 5 tips are applicable to any class and can be maximized if you will practice the routine daily. As a free-to-play player, knowing these tips can greatly increase your chance to farm epic materials and shorten the time of your grind. My second epic equipment was crafted in less than 2 weeks and I know this can be improved should I have spent more time focusing on the routine. However, due to multiple personal tasks I need to do outside the game, it greatly impacts the grind time frame which should have been more faster. I want to thank you guys again for tuning into our channel every time I post a video and please do bear with me if I wasn't able to upload contents frequently. But do not worry, once I have everything settled, rest assured that contents will be posted as frequently as possible. So for mere for tutorials and others, make sure to LSS, like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye!